What's up guys, it's AlecMac111 and today we have a mystery box unboxing. It is April 17th and it snowed last night. We literally got like three to five inches of snow and you guys wonder, Alec, why don't you get gameplay footage? Well one, right now it's because of Corona and two, the Midwest during like, I kid you not, half the year just sucks weather wise and no one plays. But anyway, I digress. So, Evike's been having a problem where everything has been shipped to my home address. So I moved out to Indiana. Um, I was here with college for like four years. For those of you that follow my channel, you know this. Um, but I go back home, like I still live at, at a home with my family sometimes when I go I go back for breaks and stuff. And so every Evike package has been shipped home. So this is the Biohazard Mystery Box. This is the last one. I was supposed to get another mystery box today and I was gonna do both of them in the same video. However, that, also got delivered home and i think it's because i use paypal but I, ha I took literally every single address out from ohio and i put all of my indie like my only indiana address in and somehow it still went to ohio so this has been open i have not seen this rob went home for the weekend and so i got this and i have not looked at them obviously this is built but this is one of the best mystery boxes i've gotten in a while and every single time that jerry jerry jared sure shot midget whatever you want to call him every time he opens my mystery boxes i get great stuff so Without further ado, let's get into this. Um, first gun, so he unboxes and put this together for me, and uh, like obviously it's nice, and I think he might have done a review of this on his channel, um, but this is the VSR, this is like the Matrix VSR. These are super, super cheap. So I saw this and I was like, oh, that's like a decent starter gun. Evike Mystery Boxes, honestly, whenever you buy them, you're not really gonna have something that, like you're not gonna get something that's not worth it, if that makes sense. I guess it's a double negative. You're always gonna get your value when you buy an Evike Mystery Box, even if you just resell the guns. Sometimes I'll do that, like I'm reselling this. I might keep the other one, I'm not 100% sure, but I am reselling this and it's super cheap. Like this is a great little starter thing. I think this is branded by Well, I believe. It's the MB10 Airsoft gun, as I've literally hit my snow over here like three times. Um, and so this is just a simple, like it's a VSR platform, so the body's actually pretty nice. It feels similar to like a JG level body or like a cheaper VSR body, but you can replace anything in here with like uh, just PDI or uh, like any of the really, like the Lalax stuff is really, really good. I know I had an EDGI barrel in my old ones that are, those are hard to get now, um, but there's a lot of really good upgrades for this. I think Angel Custom is like an Evike brand that has good um, like quality upgrade stuff if you want to do that but this is just a simple like cheap gun everybody wants to be like Novridge nowadays so I'm sure that all these little cheap snipers are selling well unfortunately in airsoft snipers are not amazing unless you put like a decent amount of money into them I think Novridge was the first one that like mass produced a really affordable ish gun that like shoots really well i had a vsr 10 that had like 900 dollars in it back in the day that had full lalax like zero trigger everything uh edgi barrel like i said it had all like the best top up and just everything and it was like a 900 dollar build i think i bought it for like four 450 and that thing shot really well but that's like the only sniper besides my ssg 24 that i've owned that shoots really well but this is a good little starter gun came with a speed loader on um, this screwdriver which actually will be helpful i need more of these little phillips head screwdrivers i think that's kind of a cool little ad came with just some bbs these really cheap crappy springs um and then a manual that's very like the most simple manual that i've ever seen in my life it's literally like here put the gun together um so thankfully jared did that and this is where you guys as well as me will get a little frustrated so when i open guns it's like a normal like just a, a two good guns like a sima and a level jared opens this package bro this is a 360 dollars gun i looked it up on evike how much it was this is a 360 dollars gun look at this thing this is the matrix pulse rifle from aliens i've watched the movies before and look at this thing it's like i, th I believe this is actually like a thompson I think it's a Thompson out of like the base form. You can kind of see that with like the pistol grip there. But look, dude, look at how cool this is. Look at that. Isn't that dope? It's literally like, a, it's literally the pulse rifle from Aliens. And Jared opens these things and it's like, yo, what's up? Here's $360. Cause I think this was like a $180 mystery box. So if that's the case, then this literally doubles the value right there. I probably will sell this thing for like 300 cause I don't know if I'll be able to use this. Maybe I'll use this in a game. Oh, yo, you know what I can do? I can make like a Corona loadout or something and I can use this as the gun hmm drop a thumbs up if you want to see that I think that actually would be really funny if I got like a chem suit put on all my gear and then ran something like this and then a gas mask be like my war zone just gas mask loadout slash corona season that's actually wild all right so I'll go from the like from the top here so I think this is supposed to be like a grenade launcher in aliens from what I can remember there's a bunch of different movies and I know I think Prometheus kind of fits into that as well um, but there's a shotgun shown there so that looks kind of cool everything externally it like 
it feels okay to be honest the plastic feels pretty high quality but it does feel a little like it just feels really bulky i don't i i think imagine i can't imagine really playing with this because it's just so bulky and if you're inside like a a corner or something you're trying to take a corner you're trying to move around and maneuver anything i just don't i don't know i don't think that it would be super great it looks like see the wires in the back i actually don't know how you put a battery in this i know this is like where you access the magazine i remember watching reviews on this way back in the day when they came out um looks like it uses a nine volt battery is that actually how you do the magazine there's a mag release on the side got single full auto you have to push up on the mag release and that is, that's genuinely a Thompson magazine. So this looks like it's one of the short Thompson magazines. I don't know if I've ever owned a Cybergun um, one. I think that might be, the, oh, the coolest thing, yeah, I saw this. One of the coolest things about this is it actually has like a laser BB counter on the side. I think this thing works. I think that's what that nine volt battery is for. I'm not 100% sure. And then I would assume this switch on here would help with that. It is, the pistol grip is a little bit loose. I think that maybe that flathead would do it. I, I don't know if the uh, motor is housed in here. I'd assume the motor's still housed in here, either on the top percent platform. I don't know what version gearbox that's considered. Um, let's see if we get the, yeah, you mentioned Thompson charging handle though. So this is literally everything Thompson. There's the hop-up chamber. Uh, the stock feels a little bit like loose, but it actually, it actually feels pretty cool. And if you want to go, it's got three, it looks like three adjustments. It might have more or less. Yeah, looks like three adjustments. That's pretty cool actually. So if you want to, like a smaller person and you kind of want to be maneuverable with this, you can. I don't recommend it because I seriously cannot imagine running this in like a CQB environment in a building, but I guess some of the times in the movie they did it. But I honestly, I think this is an awesome little replica. Literally, like I said, once Jared unboxes my mystery boxes, so I don't know, literally as soon as he gets them, he'll like say something he's like, yo, you got a package from UPS, can I open it? And I'm like, yeah, sure, because I'm nice. Um, and so he'll open it and mess with them. And then hopefully, I mean, honestly, if he keeps unboxing them, it's nicer when you guys can get a full authentic reaction because this, I knew I was getting this. Like I knew what it was. He's like, oh, you got a sniper and this, but I hadn't looked at this before. So I still want you guys to be able to see it because it's supposed to be a mystery box. But honestly, this is one of the best things I've got. I, I think that since I bought mystery box last year, I got a VFC Avalon out of it. That was like the best one I've gotten in a while. Normally I just get the, which is statistically right. I would normally get like the baseline entry level stuff however this is a really really nice and pleasant surprise and i appreciate it um thanks for watching this video guys i'm uploading every single week at 6 p.m on friday i normally have my alec mac 101 merch on that'll be in the merch shelf below however i got the 100 thieves drip today supporting they shot in them i've been playing a lot of Warzone. um i've been adding a few of you guys actually a few of you guys have added me so if you want to add me all the infos down below we can play together but this has been alec mac 101 stay safe hopefully you guys don't have this snow and i'll see you guys soon